USA go into the International Legends World Cup as rank outsiders. In fact, America are only one of a few countries to have been entered into the competition where football or soccer is not the country's most popular sport. However, it is certainly on the rise in the US, but they are yet to give birth to a truly global star of the beautiful game. But God bless Freddie Adu for giving it, well, a mediocre try. So don't be surprised to see a few more familiar faces in this squad, as well as a few from the 1994 World Cup on home soil, and let's not forget a couple from America's incredible triumph over England in 1950. So with that being said, let's get into our list. Brad Friedel, likely to be the USA's number one in this tournament, Friedel had a long and admirable career, winning 82 caps for the USA and turning out for the likes of Tottenham and Aston Villa. Goalkeeping has always been a strong position for the US, and that reflects in this squad. Tim Howard, another US keeper who spent a long time impressing in the Premier League. Howard won 113 caps for the USA and is still going strong at 38 years of age. Following spells from Manchester United and Everton, where Howard won three trophies and was once included in the PFA Team of the Year, the former Metro Stars man is now back in the US playing for Colorado Rapids. Carlos Bocanegra, this well-travelled centre-back has played football in the US, England, Scotland, France and Spain. The now retired 37-year-old racked up 110 caps for his country and played some of his best club football with Fulham alongside fellow American Brian McBride. Eddie Pope, a stalwart in the national team throughout the 90s and 2000s, Eddie Pope never proved himself outside the US but did enough during his time with DC United, Metro Stars and Real Salt Lake to earn his place in this side. A four-time member of the MLS Best 11 and a one-time MLS Best Defender, Pope won 82 caps for his country. Marcelo Balboa, the former national team captain won 127 caps for the Stars and Stripes, scoring 13 times and that was from centre-back. Like Pope, Balboa never played in Europe, but he did have a brief stint in Mexico with Leon. The first player to reach 100 caps for the USA, the defender was twice named the US Soccer Athlete of the Year, Steve Cherendolo. The USA seems to have a never-ending left-back dilemma, but they had no such problem at right-back throughout most of the noughties. Cherendolo was solid, dependable for the national team, winning 87 caps for his country and rarely letting anyone down. A one-club man, he never played in the MLS and spent his entire career with Hanover before retiring in 2014. Billy Gonzalez, possibly the greatest left back the US ever had, well as great as America gets. He was known as the Babe Ruth of American soccer. The Rhode Island born star represented the USA at the 1930 and 1934 World Cup. A renowned gentleman, he was never reportedly carded over his entire career. Walter Barr, widely regarded as one of the greatest US soccer players of all time, Barr won just 19 caps for his country between 1948 and 1957. The most notable game of Barr's career was naturally when the Americans stunned England in a 1-0 victory in 1950, and Barr supplied the assist for Joe Geaton's winner. Fabian Johnson, one of only a few current US internationals to make the cut, Johnson is the youngest of the bunch, aged just 29, but still deserves his place in this side. He's already won 54 caps for USA, and the versatile left-sided player has impressed in Germany for the likes of Wolfsburg and Borussia Mönchengladbach. Claudio Reyna, he played in the top flights of England, Germany and Scotland, and the USA. He won 112 caps for the national team before retiring from international duty after the 2006 World Cup and then hanging up his boots entirely in 2008. Tab Ramos, a midfield partner of Reyna's for some time, Ramos was born in Uruguay and was also the son of a footballer. The diminutive midfielder won 81 caps for America and represented the country in three World Cups and was most famously on the receiving end of a Leonardo elbow which fractured his skull, although Chris Waddle reckoned he was just play acting. Clint Dempsey, don't tread on this, arguably the greatest American soccer player of all times in terms of his contribution to the national team. Dempsey's won 132 caps for his country, scoring 56 goals and will most likely soon overtake Landon Donovan as the US's all-time leading goalscorer. At club level, Dempsey impressed in the Premier League with Fulham and Tottenham and has been a titan in the MLS with New England Revolution and Seattle Sounders. And let's never ever forget that Dempsey released his own rap song under the alias Juice. Landon Donovan, the poster boy of US soccer, Donovan's quality on the world stage is up for debate. The 35 year old has already been named in the MLS Best 11 seven times, more than any other player. Outside MLS, it was a mixed bag for the forward. 
failing to break through at Leverkusen and doing very little on loan at Bayern. But he did impress at flashes for Everton and he's also scored 57 goals in 157 games for the national team. Eric Wijnaldum, the Californian-born striker, was a good technician with a powerful shot and he scored 34 goals in 106 caps for the national team. Away from the international scene, he played in Germany, Mexico and the US, scoring a total of 64 goals in 220 games over the course of his career. Jim Brown, it's really harsh to leave Brian McBride out of the initial 15, but we have faith that you will vote him into the final 18. One man who'll definitely be in is Jim Brown. The Kilmarnock born US international moved to America at the age of just 19 and went on to win four caps for his adopted home and once scoring against Argentina at the 1930 World Cup. At club level, Brown scored for fun in the US and was also prolific in England with Man United, Brentford and Tottenham. And that's it for the United States Definite 15. Now it's over to you to decide which three reserve players get the nod and join the likes of Dempsey and Donovan in the US's final 18-man squad. Casey Keller, former Millwall, Leicester and Tottenham goalkeeper, won 102 caps. Frank Borey, former St. Louis Simpkins Ford goalkeeper, won 9 caps. John Harkes, former Sheffield Wednesday, Derby County and DC United midfielder, won 90 caps. Kobe Jones, former Coventry and LA Galaxy midfielder, won 164 caps and had fantastic hair. Ernie Stewart, former VVV Vanello, NAC Braider and DC United midfielder, won 104 caps. Michael Bradley, former Roma and current Toronto FC midfielder, won 130 caps. Ron Weagle, former QPR and Colorado Rapids midfielder, who won 41 caps. Brian McBride, ex-Columbus crew and Fulham forward, who won 95 caps. And that's our list. Don't forget to leave your votes in the comments, or use our poll, or in fact tweet us at HITC Sport. Be sure to like, share and subscribe for more great football content.